So starting off with this picture of a wolf, I'm going to apply a brightness and contrast adjustment. I'm going to bring the brightness down and the contrast up. And then moving over to the filter studio, I'm just going to add some clarity. And I've made it a live filter so I can go back and edit it later if I need to. And then I'm just going to bring the brightness down a little bit more. And then I'm going to rasterize that image. And then I can just duplicate it. And then I'm going to hide the very bottom layer. And then I'm going to move over to the selections persona and then using the smart selections brush I'm just going to paint over the wolf. Then I'm going to add a mask layer so it's going to get rid of the background and then I'm going to click deselect. Moving back over to the photo persona, I'm going to place this photo of a forest. And so I'm just going to hide the picture of the wolf for a minute so I can just focus on this picture. And then I'm going to change it to black and white. And then going on the curves adjustment, I'm going to bring the very centre down and that's just going to bring down all the black. And then I'm going to invert. Then I'm going to add a, another curves adjustment and bring the blacks down even more. So now we've got quite a clear image of just the trees. And then I'm just going to move back over to the selections persona and again with the smart selection brush I'm just going to paint over those trees. And I'm then just going to refine the selection. And I'm then going to add a mask layer and then press deselect and I'm going to get rid of all those adjustments that we did. So I'm going to get rid of the curves and the black and white and everything else. And I'm going to bring back the picture of the wolf. And then I'm going to move those trees around to place them where I want them. And then I'm going to change the colour, so I've just applied a HSL adjustment and I'm bringing the saturation down. And then I'm going to start painting away some of the picture of the wolf by adding the mask layer.
and then add a mask layer onto the picture of the forest. I'm going to just get rid of those edges so it sits within the wolf. And then I'm going to add a pixel layer and put that on the picture of the forest. And then using the colour picker tool I'm just going to select a part of the wolf and I'm going to paint over those trees. And this is just going to help it blend a lot more into the wolf. And then I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. I'm going to bring the opacity down as well. And then I'm going to add another HSL adjustment and bring the saturation down. And then I'm going to change the hue slider so that we get a bit more warmth in the picture. So we can match with the brown of the, the wolf's fur. I'm then going to add an exposure adjustment and I'm going to bring the exposure down. And then adding a mask layer to the picture of the trees, I just want to define the branches a little bit more so I'm going to paint in between them. So now I'm going to add a mask to the very bottom picture. I'm using the paintbrush tool again on the colour on black. I'm just going to paint back over the, the wolf to hide that part of him again. And then I'm going to add a pixel layer. I'm going to colour select the white of the snow in the background and then just paint over that part. And 
and then just going to place this picture of some birds. Again, I just want to clean up the trees a little bit more, so I'm going to be painting in between the branches. I'm just going to duplicate that picture of the trees just so I can add some more into it. And then I'm just making sure that these two pictures sit behind the cutout of the wolf. 